Hello everybody and welcome to this Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Alone video where I'm going to be showing you the secret tree for Italy in this DLC. Which may or may not have been accidentally spoilt by a recent dev diary. That's right, today we are going to be playing as the papacy in Hoi 4. Let's get in. So, by Blood Alone. Here we are, the first video on this channel by Blood Alone. I'm really looking forward to it. So one of the really nice things about this tree and getting to this secret pathway is you don't actually have to go through a civil war to get there, but you do have to lose a war, which we'll get into. That being said, we're also going to be doing a few little things here to try and get ourselves the Roman Empire. So the, I'm going to be trying to juggle and micromanage a few things and fingers crossed it doesn't go wrong for this guy. I just punched my microphone, sorry if there was a big hit then. But anyway, let's get in here. I am going to go Iron Man mode uh, with historical focus AI on. So let's see what we can do. I will quickly put a caveat here in the fact that some things may look different on this build compared to the release build, purely because I am using a pre-release build. Thank you to Paradox Interactive for the key and for paying me a, a weekly salary. I so the first thing we need to do is not do anything in the uh, war over here in Ethiopia, except, you know, a little bit. We gotta, we got to save face, we got to show things. Also, if you notice any bugs here, like I said, it's a pre-release build. There could be some issues, but I'm just going to pick some people to get some XP on. We're going to put these guys on really careful, and I'm going to just do it with a Phil Marshall line. Get this all set up, set up, bada bing, bada boom. Unfortunately, with the path we're going, we do not get this field marshal here, so I will not be trying to level him. I want the mountaineer guy in the north. Again, set these to careful. And we want to keep our armies going a little bit. I think you can personally just not fight and hold the line and it'd be fine, but I do want to grind out a little bit of XP if I can. Standard array of engineering, machine tools, construction, and the final thing you're going to need to pick up here as a tech is paratroopers, because we're going to be doing a little bit of a meme with these. Also, like I said, there is no issues here in terms of we're going to lose uh, land to a civil war. Okay, so soon as you have the political power to do it as well, you need to justify on Yugoslavia. We're going to use the chain of claims here uh, in order to cause a bit of a bit of a ruckus of a war. Now, one of the most important things here is that we lose this war in Ethiopia. And the way we're going to lose this war, we've got to not complete the gradual escalation here. We'll get some orders in a moment from the, the deuce, um, where he'll be telling us, OK, I need you to do this offensive. It will be sometime in January that this hits. Uh, there we go. And we're going to go with logistics in Ethiopia, just so we don't get that accidental boost to our aggressiveness. and. Basically, we need to not complete these, and it's going to be 200 days. So I'm going to do a little bit of micro, just stop and start these battles. And basically try and mine this for XP as much as I possibly can. Uh, now is not the time for the Sultanate, Sultanate of Ossia, because that's going to reduce our fascism. going to help us out in the long run, trust me. And one of the things we're going to be wanting to do as soon as we have the ability to do it is deal with the balance of power a little. That's We're going to need a little bit of political power for that and there's another reason why we won't be upgrading our military stuff etc etc but um it's not enough that we need to just like not take focuses etc right one of the things i'm also going to do here is make a few forts on our line over here and i'm going to really annoy one half of the development team and take concentrated industry because it's the best if you don't know there's a divide between which industry is better in within the dev team it's a fun war so what I'm doing here is every now and then pulling out of this province, our guys can get back in there quicker than the Ethiopian, but it's, it triggers Ethiopia to attack it, giving us the ability to cause a combat without pushing. Okay, we've been given the task to end the war, which means we're probably three days from failing. Oh, actually, I succeeded one. I succeeded here in the north? I did too well. Uh-oh. Oh well, it still failed. The Southern Front stalls. We want a staggering failure. We want the struggle in Ethiopia to fire. And now we want to start heading down the line in which over here 
undermine the deuce. Because we're going to be going down here, and then over here, and then over here. And it's all going to be happening all the while we are invading the rest of the world. So I'm going to undermine the deuce whilst doing things. It's going to be a little bit hectic, and it's going to be a little bit fun. But um, now we're undermining the deuce, we can actually just pull out of uh, Ethiopia entirely. Just assign these guys to a new order back in Italy. Right, now that the balance of power uh, is here, we are going to start slandering the deuce and uh, criticizing the war effort. War effort. We, want, uh, we want none of this helping Mussolini stuff. We're going to head the way of dealing with that. And we're going to go conspiracies in the shadows, which is, yes, start moving away from Mussolini. The main thing to take away here in the balance of power section of this guide is that we want to keep it in this middle equilibrium here. Otherwise, we're going to risk a civil war on both sides whilst we go into conflict. We're also going to want to keep our stability. Up. Right, this is what we want some of our XP for, and that is getting ourselves paratroopers. Right, we need to do the Servizo Informationale Militare, the, the spy network, and then we'll fully pull out of Ethiopia. Okay, so the battle has been set. We've, we've got our claim against Yugoslavia. Hopefully this will bring in France and quite a few people. Okay, hopefully we've got enough planes to get end of the league nations. Fine, 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 fine. Good start dropping. Humiliation in Africa happened. Fall of Paris. Boom, there goes the French. Didn't lose a single paratrooper division, which is fantastic. We're going to go set up down here. This is where things get a little bit cheesy, as you may have noticed. Okay, we're going to do the same over here with Yugoslavia. Just this time we're going to hit, you know, try to hit as many... Formazione. Thing as possible, but we're also going to try and cut off that northern front Pronto, from the capital. Hit an attack line, paratroopers slowly climbing up the nation. Hey, this is what we did the Marseille area. We caused a, we tried to do a, a cutoff line so that logistically hey, their troops would eventually fall apart if our front line actually had needed to push in case the paradrops failed to capitulate the French. This is just something I'm doing as a little bit of a backup. Thing is about Yugoslavia as well is a lot of their points are our uh, coastal and we won't be able to break those with paratroopers but hopefully if we cut off the capital it will cause enough supply issues that we might be able to walk in afterwards. Paratroopers doing crazy stuff. Did I miss the capital? I think I missed the capital. But it's enough that it's caused a breakthrough on our assault line. Okay, we have defeated Yugoslavia. It's taken a little while too long. Romania. There's a bit of a steamroll here sometimes. Last by by absolutely no means least the Czechs. Okay. <laughs> Done. So this is the part where we sit on our hands for freaking ages. It's also at this point or possibly during this war that you can spend a little bit of political power. You don't need as much as I've got right now. But once you're out of the war, you can convene the Grand Council. We can now depose Mussolini. Okay, Mussolini deposed. We can now get our good friend Pietro! Now we need to wait for 25%, and in the meantime, we can do some construction and stuff. Soviets just declared war on me for Bessarabia. Hmm, I don't know if this screws things for us. I think because this is a defensive war, it's not going to trigger a civil war because our stability is high. Let's make sure the stability stays high. We got anything to do there? Let's even get Germany to help beat up the Soviets. Right, we now have. Victor in charge, the king. So we need to now wait until we've got 50% aligned. Well, all it took for me was for me to start assaulting, and the Germans did. Remember to keep that balance of power up uh, by doing the balance of power missions, stopping them from forcing you into a civil war. <laughs> okay, now I've got to try and bid for stuff. Well, now that goes over. Um, okay. Right, now that that hiccup of uh, Russia is dealt with, we should be fantastically aligned. Nope, still can't do the king. Ah, damn it, 10%. Oh, well, I'm going to keep building stuff then. Okay, so this is the point that you get to if you've skipped all the way on how to see the invisible papal, papal line. Welcome back to the video. If you've been watching, we're finally here. We can do power to the king as soon as new corporations is here. I, I managed to uh, get the party to change by, you, you know, 
banning communism and democracies. It's fine. Power to the king. We're going to seek papal support. And we have the Pope's ascendancy. God wills it. So this is going to instantly put us to the Pope because uh, we, we had our balance of power right down here. And this should reveal the new papal tree. Now, you often find that you'll need to do Agents of the Church and Strengthen the Papacy first if you don't have that all the way down here. You'll have lots of lines here, literally, like Pavinia Communal Council. It Once the Pope, power to the Pope is uh, started, it's easy to move it away from the King. Um, and now we're just going to rush down to the Papacy Reborn. And there we have it, the Papacy Reborn. Look at that beautiful paper. Uh, uh, well, that's a few things, but... Um, yeah, and then we now have this beautiful tree down here where we get... Look at this, division recovery. Recruitable population factor, 10%. Mmm, this is going to get spicy. At this point, friends, you are pretty much done. You've unlocked the new tree. There's some really great things to look through, like some of the bonuses you get here, the air mission efficiency, the air range, 15%, uh, ground attack factor. Uh, you get some really bonkers things like... 20% uh, negative build cost on super heavy tanks. You've got claims on Palestine start uh, wars. South American alliances to get the weird but awesome faction of the Catholic Dominion. And basically at this point, if you follow this guide, you've got to do the build up to war uh, against whoever the major player is. In this case for us, it's the Axis. The Allies won't be too, too much to deal with. I think we'll be able to deal with the Allies at last. I would guarantee that, but um, Germany's going to be the big one. And uh, you're going to see me here probably time skip a little bit uh, while I narrate this ending. Uh, and after this, we will form the Roman Empire with the special Roman Empire tag that comes with the papacy. Because of course, you're not the Roman Empire, you're something completely different. But I just wanted to say thank you for following with this little video here. It's been a while since I've actually made content for this channel, so I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you've gotten to this point, please consider leaving a like. Comment down below, even if it's just an emoji, uh, because holy hell does it go a long way. Um, I'm actually recording this now on a different day. I'm going to cut in with my webcam here because you got to see me at night. It is about uh, 2 a.m. before the night of the release of this video. I'm still working hard on it. And yeah, I'm hoping to bring more YouTube content now. Again, I've got, I've, I've changed my life up a little bit and I, I want to get back into YouTube. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, you'll see, we'll see a bit of a time lapse here. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll, uh, join me when uh, we're forming Rome. Questo è il fiore del partigiano, questo è il fiore, questo è il fiore del partigiano, questo è il fiore, questo è il fiore. So there we have it friends, finally done, it's this log, it is now 3am on the day of this video's release. I've been Midge Man, me and Papa Pio have had a great time, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. This video that is on your screen right now has been picked by YouTube for you from me. It's a gift from me and from YouTube. Are you going to turn down a gift? Never look a gift horse in the mouth. It might bite you. So why not watch these videos? Wash your eyeballs with this goodness. Wash your eyeballs? <laughs>